Boston City Council met this afternoon for the first time since a federal judge threw out the maps which were supposed to be used for this fall's elections. Well, now city leaders only have a few weeks to come up with new maps. Tonight, WBZ political analyst John Keller shows us why race is at the center of this dispute. The initial plan broke up long-standing, predominantly white districts in South Boston and Dorchester and sparked strong emotions that erupted on the council floor. And they're viewing this exercise as an all-out assault on Catholic life in Boston. And it's not lost on them that the person that's leading the charge is a Protestant. And I take it as a personal attack. But now, federal judge Patty Saras has thrown out the map and rejected key arguments by its supporters, writing in her decision that the plaintiffs are likely to succeed in their claim that race was the driving force behind some of the controversial redistricting, and that there is no evidence those white majority districts have been rejecting candidates of color. Quote, quite the contrary, she wrote, citing the last three council elections. Former city councilor Larry DeCara says the ruling is an acknowledgment that Boston has changed from the bad old days when flagrant racism prompted the last legal challenge to redistricting 40 years ago. So these patterns have been evolving for a long time. And because Judge Saris grew up in the city and she has seen the city evolve she understands that. But as councillors squabbled today over the process of drawing up a new map, councillor Julia Mejia argued council president Ed Flynn shouldn't preside over it because he helped bankroll the challenge. There's a level of mistrust here. A mistrust was said, was said a little while ago, absolutely mistrust because this process happened around people. Now, Councillor Baker also helped pay for that successful legal challenge in Paula just a few hours ago in New Wrinkle. Mayor Michelle Wu now says she'll offer up her own plan shortly. They don't have much mm. time. Wow, no, a lot of work to do. Yeah. And John, you know, race relations in Boston are better than they were. Uh, you know, there's no question about that. Why is this happening now? Well, in part because greater political power for people of color hasn't been matched by more economic power. The, the, ec the income disparities are still still dramatic. Uh, the city still has plenty of issues that motivate people to use legal tools like redistricting to promote racial parity. And frankly, there's just still plenty of Bostonians who view each other with, as they put it on the council floor today, mistrust. And that's a problem. It's going to take work. John Keller, thanks so much. Chris?